Today I wanted to share a personal story. I'm laughing just thinking about it. The punchline's great. <laughs> but it's a personal story that demonstrates how sometimes the little things that we do have a huge impact and sometimes we don't even know. And I think this is important to remember because lots of the people that I work with are parents, carers, teachers, nurses who are working so hard every day to support the children in their care. And sometimes you feel like you're not making a difference. And I think sometimes we have to remember that the ripples of what we're doing can be huge, um, but we won't always necessarily see the impact of our actions. Sometimes that goes unseen um, and just to hold on to the fact that you're making a difference. So I'm going to tell the story of the post-it note um, and some of you who've seen me speak uh, might have heard me tell this story before. I've told it a couple of times. Um, so this uh, story goes back a few years. Um, I was working in, in London and um, I was in a really, really difficult place. Actually, I had been on and off work uh, with mental illness, with uh, anorexia, PTSD uh, for some time and um, things were really tough. Actually, to all intents and purposes, as far as everyone could see, at this point I was going through a relatively good patch but it wasn't really a good patch at all. Actually, I was actively suicidal. Um, I'd got to the point where I thought things are never gonna get any better. I was completely hopeless and I had a plan and uh, on this particular day I was in the office in London and I had to go to a meeting in Westminster and I had no intention of getting to that meeting. I had a very clear plan, more, I was more determined than I'd ever been before and I was more at peace with this idea than I'd ever been before. But I did a normal morning's work because somehow I found this kind of, I don't know, sense of calm. It was quite strange. Um, but anyhow, um, before I left the office for the meeting in Westminster, my uh, boss at the time and and still to this day, very good friend, Joe, uh, took me to one side, literally just as I was leaving. He was gonna make me late. I remember feeling a bit annoyed about that, even though I had no intention of getting to the place. Weird. Anyway, he took me to one side and um, he had a really good chat with me and um, he was really kind and really caring and he made it clear that I wasn't fooling him, <laughs> that he knew that things weren't okay um, and that he was there if I needed him. Um, at the end of the meeting, um, he, gave me a post-it note um, and on it he had written the words you are irreplaceable you are irreplaceable and I didn't believe those words but he did it with such sincerity that I believed that he believed it um, and that made a difference and that post-it note that day Genuinely, that post-it note, so it's partly about the conversation, but actually when you're in a place where you've got all this negative self-talk, words can just disappear, but something physical that you can look at and hold, it's much harder to kind of argue with. And that post-it note, I swear to God, that post-it note saved my life that day. Um, and uh, I made it to the meeting in Westminster and carried on as normal. Um, and I've kept that post-it note forever since that in fact i have it right here it's a bit faded now you can see like can you see that it's um yeah it, it you, it's very hard to read now um but every now and then i find this post-it note is a reminder that someone cares and that i don't know it anyway it means a lot to me it's a post-it note but it makes a huge difference and i guess the point is that um Sometimes the little things you do are actually huge and they have way more impact than you could ever know. So why was I laughing at the beginning of the story? Well, the punchline is, so I told this story um, for the first time a while ago now. And, um, and it was, uh, I was quite emotional telling this story. I felt, you know, it was a really, it was a really big deal for me that day, like a really big deal. Um, and someone afterwards said to me, how did Joe know? Because, you know, we, we all need to learn when to have those conversations, when to intervene and, and, and ha you know, how, how to know when to have that moment with someone. Um, and I thought, I, I, I don't know, actually. I mean, Joe's really intuitive, but I didn't know what it was in particular that day. So I called him and I said, Joe, you know, the, the day of the post-it note, how did you know? How did you know to talk to me? And Joe's response? What post-it note? <laughs> I didn't even remember. So the moral of the story is that actually sometimes 
You do things that have a huge impact and you'll never know. But what you're doing every day, the little things often are big things and they really, really matter. So even though sometimes you might feel like you're not making a difference, please rest assured that you are. The ripples of your work, your care, your kindness are felt. Uh, it really matters. So please, please keep caring. So there we go. Goodbye. <laughs>